I was I wasn't even gonna do this, but like this story is just too much for me not to tell somebody. Like this was the worst date, worst encounter with a man uh, with anybody I've ever had in my fucking life, y'all. <laughs> like i don't even know where to begin like where i began is i was talking to this dude on instagram right and for like some weeks and I saw messages from like 2018 that he had wrote me. So I know my memory is really bad. So I know at some point that we had either met or had each other phone up. We had some kind of conversation before. So um, I, he asked for my phone number. Okay. So girl, <laughs> I'm talking about some girl. When he, when I, when he texted me, do you know that the the name popped up as annoying? Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? That's suspicious. Yeah, that's, That's weird. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I've had this man number before and something he did was annoying. But I'm like, okay, that was years ago. Let's just give it another chance. I never asked him you know have you had my number before none of that okay so fast forward a couple weeks later we've been texting and everything this whole time and we decide to go on a date so i meet him at his house to go on the date he asked me what i wanted to do and i had told him that i wanted to go to this brunch spot right so he was like oh you got to have a reservation there um that's some tourist stuff to do you know just it was weird. I'm like, tourist? Um, child. Anyway. But what? Like, how is that something touristy to do? But anyways. So, um, we were talking and chopping it up. And he wanted to drink. So, I didn't feel that good. I had like a sore throat. So, I only took like one shot. So, we're getting ready to go. He was like, we're going to go somewhere. You know, he took a damn cup full of liquor okay so i'm like oh okay it's sunday like brunch time like it's never that serious but whatever people like to drink maybe he was nervous i don't know so um fast forward we get to pont city market and like he was just like i'm hungry i'm hungry and i was like well i've already eaten so no big deal and he was like well i really want to go to this place and um so i was like we can eat you know i'll just pack my food to go or i'm sure when i smell your food i want to eat so they put us on a this was this is the first red flag they put us on um the patio and he was like when um make sure it's a good seat you know tell him the host so we get out there <laughs> excuse me <laughs> lord so we get out there and i guess he didn't like the seat he just walks the fuck away and like how it was it was a patio so we we were we could just walk away and be back outside he walked away and so i was i just told the waiter like sorry you know like that was so fucking rude okay so then he was like let's just go to um somewhere else to eat all right away from the where we was like we did we had just got to pont city market he wanted to drive like 40 minutes to eat somewhere else so i'm like whatever dude so he didn't know where the damn parking deck was where we had parked it and i was like oh we parked right here because i remember seeing the makeup store and it was so weird y'all he was like you know how somebody just don't want to be wrong i guess he was like oh, okay i'm just making sure you comfortable what the fuck does that have to do with anything that i what does that have to do with where we parked it i was like what do you mean Oh, because I know that um, it's a big crowd or whatever, and you from the country. Y'all, a little backstory. I I live in Alabama right now. I am I was born and raised in Georgia. So me and my mom used to live in my hood, man. I grew up in this hood all my life. This is my bedroom right here. I've only been in Alabama for two years. 
So the whole day he kept making like little jokes about how I'm acting like a tourist and how I'm, I'm not from Atlanta. I'm not from Georgia. I'm not from, you know, like you got to know who you fucking with. You got to know like how these narcissists, they'll find any little thing and, and try to fuck with you. Okay. Um, so he said that and I was like, what are you talking about? Um, when I had got out the car, I meant to mention this, when I got out the car, I had on my sunglasses. I told y'all, y'all didn't feel good. Some shit was going on with my eye too. And he was like, you and these sunglasses. Like he was just saying little stuff to me the whole time. So, okay. But when we headed to the next restaurant, he about drunk now. Cause he, he didn't have this cup of liquor. This man start, he sees the car, these all Camaros, um, track hawks. They coming from a car show. He trying to race these folks. He's trying to race with these people. And I'm like, bro, I don't even know you like that. You know, like this is, I got kids and shit. Excuse my language. Don't be, don't be racing your car. Don't, don't do that while I'm in the car. So I was already getting mad. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, what's wrong? I was like, I don't like. My bad. My camera had overheated. So basically I was like, you know, don't do that or whatever. So he was, had drunk all that liquor and was like i gotta use the bathroom and we were just about to get back off onto the highway and i was like where are you finna use the bathroom at you know you finna get off. what you finna do this man waited until we were about to turn on the highway and pulled over on the side of the highway but didn't even pull over all the way like when he got out of his car his door was over the white line people were honk he could have got hit by a car people were honking and i before he even got out the car i was like hey what the fuck you know like i'm spazzing don't do no shit like that you don't know me bro don't do nothing like that when you're in the car with somebody you don't even know like that like putting my life in danger and he took the longest piss when he got in the car i was so mad y'all he was like you think i would let this that's that narcissist shit you think i would let something happen to you you don't give a fuck about me we just met Somebody could could have hit his if his car was a small like little Audi sports car. Somebody could have hit his passenger door and took me with them. I should have known right then to go the fuck home. So we get to the restaurant, y'all. He wanted me to get out and go get the reservation. You know what I'm saying? Nah. You 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 wanted to come here, call that bitch. Or go in there. They ain't gonna answer the phone. It's too big. Well, go in there. He was like, I'm, I'll pull up here and go since you're too lazy to go. So I'm not too lazy to go. I'm not going in here. By then, you done already pissed me off. So he comes out there, comes from out the restaurant. He was like, it's gonna be an hour wait. And I really want to smoke. Y'all, I'll never talk. No offense. I ain't, I'll never talk to no, to no man from the west side of Atlanta again. Anyways, I really got to smoke. Da -da -da -da. I should have brought my stuff with me. Da -da 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 -da. You already didn't drunk a whole cup of Casamigas. So he wants to drive back to his crib, y'all, which is like 30 minutes away. When we drive back to the crib, I'm falling asleep. Mind you, I still don't feel good. Wake up, wake up. I'm like, why do I have to wake up? This is in there. He come in here, messing with me. I was like, can you please stop messing with me? He was like, no. And then he even told me he was not. He didn't even. He, he had no reason for why I had to wake up. This man did not want me to be sleep. You know that car sleep be the best sleep. Let me fucking go to sleep. So then he was like, all right, I'm gonna go to sleep. I kept saying I was cold. And he, was, you know, throughout the whole day, he turned the heat on. Once he realized I wasn't gonna wake up, do you know this motherfucking bitch? Excuse my language opened up his sunroof and turned his music all the way up y'all like he did that shit on purpose so i couldn't sleep i have never had somebody like just be so passive aggressive towards me like this was not my man we was not into it like i don't know you from shit why is you being weird to me when we got to his house y'all he went inside the house he took so long in that bitch i should have gotten out of the car and got in my car and left I don't know why I sat in that car and waited for him. We ended up going out to eat. We ended up making it back to the place, y'all. 
he wants me to roll his blunt while we driving i don't roll blunts i don't do shit like that like we're literally arguing back and forth like please just just bust it down do -da 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 -da. like bro we get to the place and now you want to roll your shit real quick and start smoking as we're walking up to the restaurant a nice restaurant it's families out there and everything this man was smoking his blunt like he like a crackhead like he just had to have that instead of rolling it in the house and smoking it on the 20 minute ride back to the restaurant you sat there and smoked it as we're walking up and tried to have me carry his cup of liquor into the restaurant i said i'm not carrying that shit this man carried it inside so we went in there smelling like weed and he had a, a whole thing of liquor. When we eating, y'all, I'm like, my phone is about to die. Who cares about if their phone is about to die? Like, it's not that big of a deal. I, I was like, do you have a charger in your car? No, but I got the other uh, charger in the house. I'm thinking like, bitch, I don't want to go back to your house. Okay. And then when he said, what type of person? I said, a mom. Who who wants to be out? Who wants to be out with you? Who wants to be out with a stranger? Who wants to be out, period? with their phone dead oh yeah you got a point then y'all this not even the kicker this man put his fuck this man walked in there with his gun and put it in my motherfucking purse y'all i thought he was putting his when he said let me see your purse real quick like you know it was next to us i thought he was putting that blunt in there i was really being a ride or die i don't even do no ghetto shit like this like you not my man we're not i'm not being ghetto with you so when i got up when we were finally done awkward ass dinner because who wants to talk to you at this point when i got up y'all my purse was heavier i knew right then and there what he had done so when we let when we're outside he was like yeah my i had to put my thing in your purse i said i know it's heavier it's not heavier let me take it out uh, see is it still heavy see i ain't even took it out like playing dumb ass games finna get a dumb ass prize from me for real i was at this point my whole voice didn't change like i was like hey this is not that stop fucking with me bro stop fucking with me let me y'all we made it back to the house mind you my phone finna die so i'm already thinking to myself i don't got no car charger i'm not gonna make it to my next destination nothing i have to go in this man house i go in this man house y'all and he all over me and shit. I'm just like, bro, this not, this not it. I'm just here to charge my phone and get the fuck on. Y'all, I kid you not, the scariest shit, y'all. That's why I'm saying y'all got to be careful. Like, I should have been more careful. I went to go use the bathroom. I had been texting, you know, like on my phone, whatever, while it was on the charger. I went to go use the bathroom. When I came back out, he all on me. Da, 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 da. and i'm just like hey it's i'm about to you know head out so i go to put my shoes back on and shit y'all he turned my phone off while i was in the bathroom he didn't have no hand soap in his bathroom but that's another fucking disgusting story but he had you know when your phone has died my phone was on like 18 percent you know but i knew i needed to navigate my phone was nowhere near dying. Plus, I had been there for about 30 minutes on the charger using it. I know when somebody has powered off my phone. Why did you power off my phone? What the fuck was you going to do? Like, you know, like, what? I got the fuck up out of there. I left my to-go order. You could tell he was upset I was ready to go. He put on his clothes like he finna go. I guess to make me feel some type of way or wanted me to ask, well, where are you finna go? I don't give a fuck if you go to Mars, to hell, to the moon. I don't give a fuck where you're going. He put on his shit to go, let's go. You go, I go, we all go. And I got the fuck on. I got a, a message from, when I woke up the next morning, I had a message like two o'clock in the morning talking about damn, um, good night to you too. Then at like seven, uh you ain't fucking with me no more you see how how he flipped two different personalities i, I wrote him back y'all and i said no i think that you're crazy he wrote me back and was like um how what did i do then like an hour later this motherfucker 
wrote this long paragraph i guess i was just i was just enjoying myself a little too much with the liquor but it's cool uh no love loss you know all that bullshit. i still didn't respond then he wrote another message can you please how can i fix this no more liquor i'm done like you just said three different things with three different parts y'all i blocked this man on every fucking social network period ever ever to be had I forgot to tell y'all too. I asked him when I finally got to his house before we went out to eat. Have we ever met before? Because I got old. Met, I got old. I never said about the phone number saying annoying. I said I got old Instagram messages from you. He had this dumb look on his face. He was like, "Nah, I don't know." Any other person would be like, "Damn, for real? How? You know?" He was like, "Nah, I don't know." That bitch did something to me before. That bitch rubbed me the wrong way before. And I just don't remember. You know what I'm saying? Like, I cannot believe this shit. It was the most scariest. And then I was sick. Y'all got on my Snapchat and was telling people, like, what happened. They thought I was crying and stuff because my eyes were so agitated. My throat was scratchy. I was like, this man ain't make me cry, but he scared the shit out of me. I never had no narcissist. You know how you date somebody and you look over the years and you like, damn, he had did some narcissist shit. This man did some narcissistic shit all in a matter of four hours like he did some lifelong cra like i'm sure i have missed a lot of shit he was saying little shit to me all fucking day like he i've never met some he was fighting demons right in front of my face y'all i know this is this is my first real story time like y'all i just had to tell y'all this like be safe out here ladies don't go to i should have never met him at his house once I saw that his things that annoying, I should have just took heed. You know what I'm saying? When we went to the house to get his weed, I should have went to my car and just took off running and left. You know, you don't ignore the red flags. He could have killed me racing that car. He could have killed me getting out peeing. He could have killed me when he turned off that phone. Like all jokes aside, that was not funny. That wasn't funny. That was scary. And I just want y'all to be safe and be careful out here. Times are not like how it used to be. This ain't 2015, 2016 no more. These, these niggas, these women are out here. They're crazy. You know, and you got to know when somebody is, is fighting a demon and, and fighting with themselves. Like, you guys to know. Take, take, pay attention, you know, and just be safe out here, y'all. Um, thank you for listening to my story time and like, subscribe, share. We're going to have more story times like this because I swear my life is a movie. Crazy things happen to me all the time, but nothing like that will ever happen again because I will definitely, definitely, definitely watch my back and be way more careful because I love my life. I love my kids. Like y'all be safe out here. Holla.